Hey everyone, this is Sandy and this is My Project Life. Today I'm going to be showing you a process video that I did for my sister. She went to San Francisco not that long ago and she had taken so many cute pictures on Instagram I thought it would be worthy of a Project Life page. So I'm just going through the cards that I have selected and I pull from all kinds of different companies. It's not just Project Life. I like to use whatever I think is cute. Um, there's everything from the cut apart page pages that you can get in kits all the way to uh, Teresa Collins and just cards that I also cut myself. Um, now here I am laying out the photos to see what would look best and like I said her pictures were so adorable it's kind of hard to do a page that has a lot of filler cards when I really like the pictures so in this film I'm going to actually show you how I display most of my photos that way I can get the most out of my actual page and there's still room for journaling as well so that glitter piece that I just am showing you there that was printed from my computer um, and I'm just lining up a few different cards and then I'm gonna go into a detail of what I did on each card so I kinda get a feel of what I want it to look like and then I go from there so right now I am just playing around with a few different cards that's just a plain old journaling card that I had from a Becky Higgins Project Life pack I think that was the Heidi Swap Daydream collection but here we go and if you look off to the right there there's a nice little plate with embellishments if you're like me I get overwhelmed when I start doing Project Life because it's supposed to be so easy but if it's not really easy like it like you would think it'd be it just kind of overwhelms me so what I do is I pull a bunch of embellishments that match the paper and the page colors that I'm going for and then I throw them on that plate so when I go to embellish my photos or my journaling cards I have it readily available and I don't have to go searching for things now that card that you're looking at in the green that's actually from a waterfall card set that I had from I believe it was Nine and Company from Teresa Collins it came in like different layers and I just tore the layers apart so I can use them on my project life right now I'm just fiddling around with some different matting and you'll see that I don't really go in with much of a plan I try to other like I try to go with a theme but in reality I just I don't always stick to it or the plan doesn't always turn out the way I want it to so I'm actually using some paper I got from Goodwill and it came in a huge set someone had donated a ton of really thick cardstock so it works perfect for matting my photos not about you guys but I own mul multiple paper trimmers I think I probably own about seven or eight um, I've been scrapbooking for quite some time and I actually just started using that Fiskars one on the tabletop. It's like a guillotine trimmer. Absolutely love it. It's like by far one of my favorite trimmers because it's something I could put easily on my table and then move away. I do have a big huge purple cow when I got at Costco but it's just so big and loud and I usually scrap at night. I don't want to wait the whole family. So I just added some washi tape down. That first blue one I believe I got that at Michael's. I'm not 100% sure, but then I also put down the gold glittery one that is from the Teresa Collins Studio Gold Collection. And that sticker is actually an Echo Park sticker. It came in one of their paper pads. I stuck it down and then I realized, well, it's not coming off of there, so I just had it kind of hanging off there. Luckily, the Hello fit in its tracks. I'm using some of the letter stickers from Teresa Collins Studio Gold as well. These are perfect for writing little journaling spots or just really doing anything with them. If you need to spell something out that's really long, these are great. I'm spelling out San Francisco. Now, this is probably the fourth time I've done my voice recording for this video, and I didn't do much editing on this video, so you'll have to excuse me. It's a little bit rough, uh, but I meant to put this video out last weekend, but my baby was making lots of noise, and he wouldn't sleep so I couldn't really do much editing on it and that was pretty much the story all week there was always something that came up doctor's appointments and everything so here it is finally <laughs> I actually love the way this page turned out that's why I had to make sure that I put the video out for it 
because I was really proud of how cute it came together there. And of course my sister took great pictures, so it made it a little easier. Now I love Tombow Mono. I use it on everything. I know everybody's a big fan of all kinds of different glues, but I've been using it for years. And these wood veneer hearts are super adorable. I actually got a bunch, oh gosh, I think that was the very first set of veneer pieces that I ever purchased. And I haven't used very many of them, and I just found them in one of my, my boxes. So I was like, yes. And I happened to use it on this layout. So that's the first card. Now I'm going to go ahead and start on the second card here. But as an afterthought though, I just remembered I wanted to make it a little bit more embellished. So I added just a few gems and pieces that I had. Pearls, you know, this, um, what do they call those? Skittles. Just to add a little extra cuteness to it. Now I keep all those little small embellishments in a little organizer thing that you normally put like receipts in or like envelopes or whatever. It's actually something I got at the dollar store. So I'll just stick a bunch of those in there and it keeps it organized. That way I don't have to go far for my stick, my little dots. And this is my first time recording a video for Project Life. So I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm using a desk that is not really a desk. It's actually the Michaels cubes. I put a tabletop on top of them. So they're a little wiggly. If you know what I'm talking about, they are very, very wiggly. But I will definitely try to work on that in my future videos. And also keeping in frame. You'll notice a couple times in this video that it's a little bit out of frame. And you can't see what my hands are doing. Um, usually it's like grabbing things or trimming an edge of something. It's not a whole lot. But I just mounted that photo on another piece of that cardstock I got from Goodwill which just so happened to really match this whole layout, which I loved. And right here, I'm just playing around with some embellishments because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to spell out. But then I saw the card that I was playing with earlier, the Teresa Collins Forever card. And I love the card. It's just I didn't really know what I would use that for as far as the black and white. Um, so I decided to cut it up and just use the forever part of it. In my video, you'll notice it looks like those are black lines. Those are actually gold lines. So when you look at the actual page, it's very beautiful. So I'm fiddling around finding my thickers right now. And my title on this one is going to be Forever Young. Um, I use a little piece of cellophane and I line up my title. I put it right over where I want it so I can kind of make sure it all fits before I go for the whole final product. And I use this chalk marker by American Crafts. And this marker is perfect for lining the edges of cards or embellishments just to kind of make them pop out more. And here I'm going to glue down the photo. Hmm. And you can see that washi tape rolling around up top. I wanted to use that so bad, I just never really worked it into this layout. So, so there we got the Forever Young. And don't you hate it when you're scrapbooking and even when you're doing a video or something, you do the whole thing and then you watch it over and you realize something you cut was a little bit crooked. I can't help but want to go back and correct it because I really... I tend to have a little bit of scrapbook OCD, but I just left it. But the forever was a little crooked. You notice that. And I'm fixing the Y on that thickers. Because if anybody uses thickers, they know that that actually is, it tends to kind of peel apart from its adhesive side. So what I did was I went ahead and I put a little bit of glue underneath it so it could stay together with my Tombow. And I stuck it down. And then I felt like this needed a whole lot more because it just looked a little plain. So I found this really cute sticker that was another um, another piece from an Echo Park kit that I had. Um, it just kind of completed the little bit of a, the title there. You can see me playing around with a couple other title embellishments. There you go. Capture the moment. I liked it. I just thought it was cute. kind of brought a little extra color to that card. And then I put down my little star. 
gold star. I think I got that gold star from the Heidi Swap. Um, it's like a smaller Project Life kit you can get at Michael's. Now this is one of my favorite photos of my sister. I died laughing when I saw it on Instagram. She looks like she's on our magic carpet because it was really windy at the beach. So she took a, I don't know if that's a shower cap or a shirt or something and put it on her head and then held her her beach towel to make it look like she's flying. And this is actually really silly. You'll notice that I'm, I'm trying to use this one rub on. And the rub on says be yourself because I thought that would fit well with that. And I glued down the little piece that I cut out. Now this rub-on is as old as I can think. I don't even know when I originally bought it, but it's it's so old that I don't even think the company is around anymore. But I thought it might work, and it wasn't. It was like dried out or something, and it wouldn't come off of its sheet. So I had to cut another little piece. And I used my scissors to kind of cut a jig jaggedy edge there because I wanted it to look like driftwood because that piece of paper was actually printed to look like wood, so I thought it would be perfect for the beach to have it look like driftwood. So I tried my handwriting. Nope. I actually don't like my handwriting. It's not gorgeous like Heidi Swap and all those other girls you see their beautiful handwriting. I feel like mine just is too... Blech. I don't like using it. So what do you do? You just use stickers. There we go, just evening that out. And this is a really simple card, so if you're going to go and do a bunch of really crazy embellished cards, you got to kind of have a balance and do something simple here and there. You don't want it to be just a ton of embellishments and, like, barely see the picture. Like in this picture, for instance, I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. So that's why I made this a very simple card. And I didn't even back it on anything. I just stuck the little things on there and that was it. Mm. This is also another one of my favorite cards but it's a little off frame. Again, I apologize. I will fix that in the future. I will make sure that I'm more aware of my card placement. So all you missed when it was off frame was I was, I was lining up the 2014. So I'm going to make sure I displayed the year she went down to California to visit her friend. Now that brown piece you just saw me suck in there, stick in there, it's actually a, um, a scrap that happened to be sitting on my desk. It was like the back side of a piece of paper I had used on a previous layout. But that's why I feel like, you know, keep your little scraps in a nice pile and you can use them for mounting photos or cutting out a quick embellishment or punching something. You don't have to go cut into a beautiful new piece of paper. Because if you calculate it out, a dollar a sheet that is like throwing money into the trash. You might as well use pretty much everything on that sheet so you can get your money's worth. And I'm using that Goodwill paper again. Gotta love it. Trimming it up there. And this is just a nice little selfie she took when she was on the beach. I just thought it was cute because she does these little light flares and, you know, makes it look more rustic. It is just a beautiful photo, so... I wanted to kind of use that as another a good focal point on the card. And this card is really cute. I think it was from uh, was there, I think it was crepe paper that made the paper kit. But it was just a random paper kit that I had and it happened to um, have cute cut apart cards in it. And if you read the side it says loving, going, seeing, doing, making, trying, knowing, listening, and eating. That's pretty much a vacation right there so it was like a perfect little card I'm just gluing that down very simple it turned out cute again it doesn't have to be the most complicated thing in the whole world when you're doing project life make it as easy or as hard as you want it to be I personally I will do super simple but at the same time sometimes I want to get a little more complicated like I consider this one a little more complicated my simple pages, I just shoved the pictures of my little baby in there and I put a couple journaling spots and that's it. And it's fine with me. But um, you'll notice this sticker, it's like a silvery, like a nice silver sticker. I took a gold paint pen and I colored over the love this. I've been doing that pretty much since I found out I could do that. I got that paint pen from a class at, when I went to CKC. And I've been using it on a lot of things. Marker, uh, I've been using it on stickers, I've been using it on letters, all kinds of different things. 
No, I'm really trying to use this piece of vellum, but it just, it's pretty. It just really did not go with my layout here. This little card is just way cuter with just a doily and a nice backdrop. Let me stick that down. I'm just trying to find a nice little thing I can mount that title on. And there's that tag I cut out from earlier on a, a previous card. I just cut it out of a, a 4x6 Project Life card. So I just stuck that down to kind of give it something to mount on. And these stickers are really fussy, so you'll see me fussing with it for a second there. But I finally get it down. I missed the heart that I drew. I drew the, or I colored the pink heart. And I missed it a little bit there. So if you notice, I'm just going to show you the card like it's done, but it's really not. I stuck a little pink heart on there afterward. And I use these little dash lines. I think they're fun. They just kind of make it more playful. I got the idea from Christina Werner. I've been watching her for a few years now, and I really love her stuff. And I use dash lines on pretty much everything nowadays. Okay. Yep, there's me putting that little heart on there. Okay, so right here, this is really like a very, very simple card. This is a picture of my sister. She went to the location where they had filmed the movie The Birds. And she reenacted the scene, which I think is hilarious. Like, you'll see me trying to stick those stickers down, but it didn't do a very good job because those are very slick uh, washi tapes. So I used a little banner piece that I got from the Teresa Collins Studio Gold. They're sticky on the back. And I just trimmed it down to put the title down, Birds. And it's crazy because I actually looked around in my stash and I found some, look at those lost and found brads. I have a ton of those, but I probably only used maybe three out of that whole set. It just so happened that that set had a bird on one of those brads. So I just put that down and that was the done, that was all I did on that card. And this is a cute picture. They went to a winery. Whoa, my camera's freaking out there. Apologize. They went to a winery and it took pictures down by the, the wine barrels. And I'm using a Corner Chomper by We Are Memories Keeper. It's the yellow handle. It has a 3 8 inch round edge as well as a 1 8 inch edge. Those are my two favorites because the 3 8 inch edge actually matches the, the Project Life cards. It's the exact perfect angle for it. So I use that on my Project Life pages and it works perfect. The 1 8 inch is just like a, the most subtle little, just a small little corner chomp that it just kind of makes it look more put together when you're using a, a sharp edge. And if you noticed I had mounted that photo on an index card, I figured why waste a um, you know, why waste a piece of cardstock when you could just use a plain white index card? I got that idea a long time ago from a um, YouTube scrapper. I can't remember what they were called. Stuck a heart there. Throw in a couple embellishments, and that card is done. Like I said, I had done all the awesome editing on this before. And I went back to my computer to finally do the voiceover again because I kept losing the voiceovers. And it was missing. The whole video was gone. So I had to redo this whole entire thing. So I figured I'm just not even going to edit it. So that's why you'll notice it has some little sad moments where I'm not doing much <laughs> off screen. And this is a, I believe that's like a wine, a wine margarita or something. I don't know. It looks so good, though. I had to put it in here. And you'll see me fiddle with some embellishments. I hate that when you fussy cut an embellishment, you do all the work to cut it out, and you're sure you're going to use it, but then you don't use it. I think I do that about a good maybe 70% of the time. I'll cut out embellishments and never use them. I'll throw them in my pile of embellishments, but I, I just it frustrates me when I do some fussy cutting and I never end up using it. And these chipboard pieces, 
I believe XOXO was from Heidi Swap, and the one that I was pulling out, that was from Teresa Collins. Mm. And that little heart arrow, it's actually a silhouette die cut. I just cut it out on my silhouette, and I keep those kind of things on hand, because you can always color them. Here we go now. So... Lovely. This is the cutest little die cut. I mean, not a die cut, but you know, cutting file I have with my silhouette. I just I cut a ton of different embellishments, and what I do is I just cut them out in white, and I throw them in a pile. And when I want to use them, I color them. That one I happen to have printed on. So, see, there's that one eighth inch that I was telling you about. It's just a very subtle little tiny corner inch. It, it's so cute. It's it's just a great way to, to finish off the photo and the matting. Gluing down the lovely. If you want to cut the thin lines and not have it tear when you lift it off the mat, make sure you're using a low tack mat. I use that on every single one of my cuts and it works perfect. It doesn't tear anything and you get these nice thin lines. Um, here I am adding the last little heart for the embellishment, and this card should be done. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today on My Project Life. And here's the final page. I hope you guys liked it. Um, come back and join me again soon. I should be putting up more vo videos very soon. Uh, this is my first Project Life, but there will be a lot more to come. I am on Instagram as well if you guys want to see what other kind of crafting things that I am actually working on. It is under Carter Sands. That's C-A-R-T-E-R-S-A-N-Z like zebra. See you guys soon.